you have a puppy with long hair or you are planning to get a puppy with long hair, please watch this video to see how important it is to get the puppy used to the table as soon as possible. Welcome back to Kitty Talks Dogs. I'm very excited because today it's all about puppies and how important it is to get the puppies on the table as soon as possible. We have with us Odette, the Malteser puppy, nearly five months old and it's very exciting. It's very nice to have the puppy on the table for the first time and it should be nice for both of us. So let's dive in. If you're interested in any of the products I'm using, just scroll down below the video and we've made a link and a blog post about all the products using. If you click on there, you'll go directly to the place you need to be. Here you see me folding out the magic towel. For me, it's very important that the puppy doesn't slip away because it's all going to be very new. The feeling, the height, uh, the clipper, the scissor, the, the water, the dryer. So having some grip under the little paws is very important. I'm going to try to get Odette used to the feeling of standing alone on the table or not alone, but you know, with me with it. But I like to have it uh, in the middle of the table and it's going to take a few times to make it at ease. I'm also going to gently let her see the, the edge uh, so she sees if she goes too far, she sees the edge. They're not stupid, although we think so sometimes, but they're absolutely not stupid. Uh, she's very cute. Uh, I have a toy here uh, which I asked the owner to bring and she's a bit shivery but still she's already lying down. She's even stretching her little back legs open so she's okay to start and she's relaxed. Actually, we prefer to keep on cuddling, but we have to do some annoying things like nails and ears, and, but we have products to help us. I've always had the fact that, yes, uh, it has to be done so when, once I get started, I, I do small bits at the time, but I am like, um, I'm not bad to the dog, but I am like correct and I am going to continue doing the ears small bits at the time without pausing. For me, it feels like when we have new shoes and you've been wearing them a while and you have to still wear them because you're out somewhere, once you've taken them off, and you want to put them on again, it's very, very hard and it hurts more. So for me, but with the dogs, it's a bit the same. I won't stop halfway. I will continue, although it's a little annoying, but I do continue until the whole ear is finished. I'm also not the person to give like treats because some people, customers like it and some don't. And, you know, which treats do you give, which treats do you don't give, which treats do you have in the house. My treat is like um, respecting the dogs and like having some time and putting my hands on them, stroking them afterwards and, and not treats. So it's just very important that you understand and the dog understands that the things that we're doing now is for the rest of their lives and they have to get used to it. And if they get used to it early on, the better it is because then they will grow up with the fact that they have to go through this and they will easier accept it. If you wait until like the dog is six, seven or eight months and then you start doing this, the dog is going to have much more problems because he's not used to it since he was a puppy. If you are a dog owner, do this as soon as possible or make your appointment with the groomers as soon as possible. If you are a groomer and you want happy dogs on your table, it's up to you as a groomer to give this message to your customers and make them come with the puppies as soon as possible. Here you see a picture of all the products I'm going to use to clean out the ears. I'm going to start with the ear powder. I like to use the 
finger condoms because this gives you more grip for taking out the hair. I'm going to use the ear forceps for deep inside the ears to take out the rest of the hairs out. Then if all the hair is gone, I'm going to use the ear care and I'm going to finish off with the big Q-tips and the Showtech ear wipes. Here you see me rubbing in the powder and I'm just letting some powder fall in and on the outside of the ears and then a little bit hairs at the time and with a quick pull so the dog doesn't feel the hairs being pulled out. By the time they know what's happening it's done, that's the idea about it but this is a very smart puppy. As you could see, it really knows what's happening. If the hair keeps on growing in there, you have a chance that the dog will, won't have enough oxygen. And if there's not enough oxygen or in and around the ears, you can have infections. So it's really important if you have a long hair dog that all the hair is being taken out as soon as possible. Here you see me using the big Q-tips and as you can see deep inside there was a little dirt so I'm very happy that all that is gone. And now let's do some nail clipping. As the tiny little nails I won't even start clipping, I'm just gonna start grinding. The advantage when you grind is you can do little bits at the time and you can go very close to the quick. There's no rough edges, it's nice and rounded. And I think Odette is behaving very, very, very well. And also here, if there's panic or if the dog is screaming or whatever the dog is doing now, which is not the fact today, but if you have a puppy and it is screaming, I advise you not to stop immediately pushing the nails and taking it with you. It's important that the puppy knows that you are going to continue whatever it does. It doesn't mean that you can stop with the grinder, for example, with the nail clipper, but I would advise you to keep your hands on the feet, on the nails and fiddle with the nails and rub the nails. So. It's not totally stopped and in your arms and then you have to start again and it's going to make things worse. So my advice, don't stop while you are doing one foot. You can stop between two foot, but you know, keep on going until it's totally done. And here you see me clipping. The Heinegger style mini clipper is very good to do the small parts. It's a small clipper, it's very light, it doesn't vibrate very much. It's very important. The blades are very narrow, the teeth of the blades are like very close to each other. It's safe and it's just a very good clipper to use for the tiny little feet. With the small trimmer, I'm like scooping out between the small pads. It's not very difficult. And for me, clipping is much safer than scissoring, especially when you have a good clipper like this. See, I go just sidewards of the pads and I make sure everything is very clean. When the dog is going to walk and it lifts its paws or when it lies in the seat, you're going to see the nice pads, the nice black pads and it's going to be beautiful. Here I don't use such a short clipper. Here you see me using the style midi instead because the style uh, mini is very uh, short and for the backside and like um, the tummy, we don't use such short blade. This is the Heinegger style midi and it's on the most long setting. For the genitals and for the tummy, I just lift one leg up and I bend down to see everything under there, slowly without pushing too hard on the clipper so the clipper is not very much on top of the skin. I just scoop out all the hair which is necessary to make it as clean as possible. Today I'm using one of my favorite shampoo, 
This is the Pro Super Clean 40. It's a very hard, creamy shampoo and it needs to be dissolved with a lot of water. 40 times water and one time shampoo. In the salon we use buckets, but at home you can just use a small bowl and just fill it with warm water or hot water and put a scoop of shampoo or a spoon of shampoo in the bowl. We prepare this before we start washing so the hot water can dissolve the cream paste. I like this shampoo so much because it's the only shampoo I know which has so much foam and lathers up fantastically, it degreases very well. But one thing very important is once you start rinsing, it rinses also very fast. As you can see here, the cream shampoo is dissolving in the hot water. I think Odette is a very brave puppy. For people who know dogs, just watch. Now Odette is afraid, but watch her tail is still standing up. She's wondering what's going to happen. She's not very sure. She is a bit shivery, but look at the tail. It's still up. She's afraid to move now because she doesn't know what floor it is. Uh-oh. And even with the water, her tail is still up. So it's really a very, very brave puppy. So here I'm going to go around the eyes as much as possible. The water is just like 36 degrees. It's not hot, it's not cold, it's just normal. And you know what? When we act normal and we're relaxed, it's okay. The dog thinks it's normal. Everything's normal when he feels that we're relaxed. So it's exactly what we're doing here. It's okay, everything's okay, it's all normal. She even takes time to sniff around, so Odette is very, very happy with what's happening. Here I'm doing her eyes. Her eyes were just a little too dirty to do before the bath, and so we are trying to get a very thick crust out, and we do it with some water. With the eye comb, it's very easy this way. And now let's do some washing. I am using the shampoo together with the foaming sponge and this two together is just like a very good team. If you are using these two together, it's like the foam comes automatically. So I really love using them together. And for me, it's very important to rub well, to go everywhere, also between the little feet, the eyes, the ears. And the last thing I'm going to do is the head. And then after the head, I'm going to rinse immediately. And now let's do some more rinsing. I always like to wash the dogs two times. The first time is going to take everything out, which doesn't need to be like dust and some grease and some dirt. And the second time is really going to moisture the coat and be a more sufficient wash. So afterwards the dogs are squeaky clean. For puppies getting used to the shower on top of the head, I like to hold my hand under their chin. And I do that because I don't ever want to have any water into their nose. So I hold them like that. So if they go down and they sniff up, they, they might have water and then there's panic. So I like to hold it upwards and then with the shower over the head but I barely push the shower so the water is very soft and it trickles over the whole head. I don't even mind having the water if I see if I, the water is going here and the water is like running down the face. If I see the water running down in the eyes I don't mind. The eyes maybe have a small particle of shampoo in them and when I've seen this I'm at ease that the dog is not going to have any stingy eyes. The only thing which I'm very careful about is I don't want any water in the nose. The second shampoo I'm using today is one of my other favorites. It's actually our first shampoo we had for Showtech and it's made its name very well. It's made in America. It has a base of coconut oil and this is before the coconut oil was so well known that this shampoo already had coconut oil in it. 
and it's also a shampoo that's a very good washer. It makes the natural colors come out. It's very good for white, but it's also very good for black or black and white dogs. And it also rinses out very well. And now let's do some rinsing. Well, that is a very well behaved puppy. Here you see me again with my hand and you see the water trickling over the head. And here we go with some conditioner. I'm using the Showtech Ultimate Conditioning Mask this time. And I'm just putting some conditioner on my hands, rubbing gently and then massaging the conditioner into the coat. I like this conditioner very much because it's so concentrated and the wheat protein and all the other fatty nutrients are absorbed by the coat and then the coat stays very good and matte free. It closes the cuticles and when the cuticles are closed and you, are, you have dry coat and you can just brush and comb through it very easily and all the hair strands will very nicely fall next to each other without like clinging to each other and making mats. Because it's a waste if you would rinse immediately and because we want to let, let it on like for five and if you can ten minutes to make this process of all these nutrition to absorbed by the coat. I recommend using a towel and in my case a dry dude so all the nutrition are absorbing while the dog is not getting cold. The warmth from the dog's body helps in this process. Here let's do some rinsing and here you see Odette trying to get out of it and this is very normal and here you see me holding my hand again underneath Taking a little bit at the time. And now let's do some drying. I like to use the magic towel very much for the first time. The magic towel is like absorbing enormous amount of water, like you can see here. You win time because the magic towel absorbs enormous amount of water very quickly. To get Odette used to the drying, I've put the dryer on the lowest setting and while I was with the towel drying some more, I let the dryer on so Odette could get used to the noise. Anyway, we don't have a lot of time left because the puppy is now getting very tired. So all the minutes here are very important. I think Odette needs to have a nap. So let's hurry up and do the rest of the grooming. As you can see here, I started in the back and Odette doesn't really care very much so let's hurry up and just do what we need to do and see if we can continue like this, it would be very good. So I'm using a very fine slicker brush, it's the Soft Touch, the Showtech Soft Touch brush and I'm using that slicker first of all with direction and then when the hair is nearly dry I'm going in all direction as much as possible to get all the hair very fluffy and to get all the curls out. I'm letting Odette getting used to lifting up her back legs, even both of them all together. I'm doing this deliberately and I'm even lifting up her back legs so it might happen in the future and Odette has to get used to everything. Maybe next time Odette is going to come to a grooming shop and she's going to remember what happened to her today and maybe she's going to say it's going to be one of those again but at least she will know what's going to happen and she will be relaxed with it. It's important when you are using the slicker brush if you're not used to using slicker brushes yourself that you test on your own skin and that you don't push hard with the slicker pins down on your skin, also not on the dog skin. So be very gentle using slicker brushes. I'm lifting up the back legs and since Odette is letting me, it's fine. I always done that in my grooming shop before. Many dogs were used to it and the dogs that were used to, used to that were letting me, no problem and some dogs were very against it and then I didn't do that but 
I always did that in my shop before. It's very important to brush against the cold growth with the slicker brush and together with the warm air from the dryer to open up the whole coat so it's nice and fluffy. Also the ears, it's very important to totally dry the tips of the ears. Otherwise, if they dry naturally, they will might look like flat and then they look like a bit greasy. And if you have fully dried the ears with the dryer, you will have a very nice and fluffy result. Poor Odette is now very, very tired. As soon as I stop drying, she's lying down. She really needs a rest now. This is a video all about the first time the puppy comes. So it's about washing and doing the feet and the face and it's not the whole full grooming. So let's quickly do some scissoring. Here you see me scissoring the feet. I'm just gonna go round and round and round. I like to do the points first, the front, and then just make it as round as possible. Here with the second paw as well, just comb everything down and scissor around the foot to make a nice round foot. I advise you to do the front first and then just don't go too narrow. Some Yorkies and some Maltese have very tiny feet and it's not to follow the sides, it's to do the front short and then to make the sides around as, as round as possible. Here as well, I'd like to explain my way of doing the, the feet. I always had like to work with a lot of students in my salon before and I've seen quite a few accidents also at dog shows where people cut in the pads and therefore I always say to everybody why don't you take the scissor and go on the outside, turn back, also go on the outside and also the outside so I don't ever go across with my scissor because it's always dangerous that you scissor into the dog's pads. And here I'm gently holding the tummy up so Odette has to stand on her front feet and while I'm holding with my, my one hand the tummy up with my scissors I'm doing the round and if you are doing this this way hold your scissor as flat as possible don't hold your scissor vertical but as horizontal as possible and just go round the feet and here you see me doing the back feet it's the same I'm going as round as possible combing is also very important in between Scissoring, just comb down and start again. And here at the bum, let's make it a little bit shorter there. This puppy is going to be scissored later, so I'm not worried to take a bit of the hair off at the back. If it's a puppy for long hair, we don't do this, but as this puppy is going to be scissored later, we can just go a little shorter at the bum. And here the... the, the face. I'm just going to scissor around the nose and around the eyes. I just literally combed all the hair up and put my scissor in between and everything which was sticking out too much I cut off. And here you see me using the blender. It's a small blender and this gives a natural finish on the eyes and around the face. And as you can see, I'm not like cutting, cutting, I'm like cutting a few times and then combing again and cutting a few times again and then combing again. This way you get like a very natural way of finishing. And now Odette can see more. Okay, and now the face. We're not allowed to make a, a bow. So here you see Odette's eyelashes. I'm just going to hold my finger on them and try not to cut the eyelashes off. So then I'm like combing the hair a little to the front and from the side I'm scissoring around the eyes. So imagine there's a lot of wind and it's coming from everywhere. 
the hair cannot go into the eyes. So here I'm just like cleaning out a little bit the face. So if it must be windy, that the hair is not going to be in the eyes. Other side as well. Let's take eyelashes. Let's put my finger on them. Okay. And also here, I, you, you're going to see me like doing cutting here, sidewards, a little bit at the time, with combing again in between. This is going to make a natural finish. And now you see me like combing everything to the front again. And now I'm just combing and scissoring. And here I'm like taking the scissors, scissoring and pulling the scissors down so I see where I was scissoring the last time. And here is a finishing touch. A little bit of Bolino perfume. Mm. And here you see a finished Odette. And let's cuddle up. She's still very friendly, although she's very tired. She's very cute. I think we did very well with Odette. This was her first grooming ever. She's four and a half months old. And I think we've put the foundation for the rest of her life on the grooming table very well. And she's gonna remember this grooming as not being bad. It's uh, necessary to have the grooming and she's not gonna mind too much. And here you see I'm putting everything in the Groomex sterilizer. It's very fun, which you can use it all the time and make sure the next time you groom, you have squeaky clean hygienic material. And especially in the times now, it's very necessary to think about hygiene. A sterilizer is very easy to use. You just put all your grooming equipment in there. You put the lamp on, and it kills 99.9% .9 of all the germs and the bacteria in a half an hour. Here you see the before and the after pictures from Odette. As you can see, there's not a very big difference, but Odette is more white. She has the foundation for the rest of her life to be groomed, and she's very more cute. If you've seen any products you like, there's a link down below. Just scroll down and you can click on it and you can see all the products I've been using. Thank you very much for watching. Enjoy grooming as much as possible and see you next time.